Hey guys, I just filmed a bunch of videos and I decided to film this as well. And uh, I've actually managed to read the first book of the summer, uh, a biennial bibliothon, and it, it's day three. So I'm not really thrilled about, you know, the pace here, but still, I read a great book and that is The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. This is the first Alison Goodman I've ever read and I really like it, so I'm really looking forward to reading Eon and Iona now because I do have them. Anyways, this is the story of Lady Helen. She's uh, a lady, you know, and she's been introduced to the queen and she's of age and now uh, she has to get married and everybody's picking husbands for her. And, you know, it's she does know that she has to get married because that's, you know, her duty. And, um, yeah, she also realizes that she's uh, somewhat different than other people. You know, she's getting these powers and she has no idea where they're coming from. And she learns that there's this uh, Dark Days Club that deals with uh, demons and getting rid of them and uh, stuff like that, protecting people. And yeah, she has to decide what future she wants for herself. And yeah, I really liked it. It was, uh, you know, it was maybe not as action-packed as uh, this kind of book would be if it was happening and, you know... Um, this time or in the future but you know this book is actually going on um, it's happening in 18 the early 1800s and the culture was somewhat different there uh, then and I've really liked it you know I've heard some not too great reviews about Lady Helen you know how she's indecisive and stuff like that but the thing is she was raised in a different time you know uh, women didn't have as much oh well uh, they weren't allowed, you know, to pick their own futures and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, when she actually gets to do that, it's really uh, not an easy decision for her because she was taught that she was supposed to be, you know, get married, be a good wife and stuff like that. And uh, <laughs> fighting demons was not, you know, an option. And now she has to deal with that. And I think that uh, the decisions that she makes, uh, her way of thinking, you know, it's it's pretty reasonable for, you know, for a book like this. Um, uh, you know, as a reader, you obviously, you know, know that there's stuff going to be happening and you'll get, you know, mad at her maybe because she doesn't see it coming. But, you know, she's not a reader of her own story. So it makes sense that she would make, some, uh, make mistakes here and there. But I really have to say, I really like this book. I also like all the historical elements, you know, that Alison Goodman weaves in. Um, these books are always fun because, you know, you get to learn stuff without actually knowing that you're learning stuff, you know, and it's great and uh, I really liked it. So, yeah, uh, I'm also listening to The Passenger by Alexander Back and I have like uh, a little bit more than an hour left uh, of that book and I'm really enjoying it as well. Uh, audiobooks is maybe not, you know, the best format for me because, you know, concentration is fleeting and, um, yeah, I sometimes have to go back a few times to just, uh, you know, uh, actually figure out what's happening. Uh, but I'm really liking it so far and, uh, yeah, I just have to have edit a few videos now and then I'm going to go um, pick another book up from my TBR and uh, hopefully manage to read it in time uh, for my wrap-up, I guess, at the end of this week. I just finished Etiquetting Espionage by Gail Carriger, uh, which is book one in her uh, Finishing School series, uh, which is a prequel to Parasol Protectorate series. I really love this book. I did not expect to love it so much, but it was so much fun and a joy to read. It was a light, fast read full of um, action and adventures and uh, silliness, you know. we uh, The main character, Sopranio, is, you know, 14-year-old uh, girl and she's sort of tomboyish and her mother is just fed up with you know always having problems with her and she enrolls her in this finishing school expecting you know her to be a proper lady when she finishes it but it's not really you know she didn't check what kind of school it is so, so besides you know manners uh, Sofrani also learns all these tricks of espionage and um, different other uh, traits and uh, yeah she's a really fun character she's always up to something and there's always action and funny stuff happening and uh, you know uh, the rest of the cast is also very uh, likable you know she has a great pet uh, the surroundings I mean the world villain is just fantastic it's really interesting um, you know if you read personal protector you might know what to expect but really this one surprised me even more uh, and I really love it. I'm not gonna go into it because 
it would ruin your experience, you know, if you haven't read the book, but it was so much fun and I cannot wait to continue with the series, but first, of course, I have to finish uh, by a bibliothon and then, you know, I can go on. Anyways, it was a really fun read and I could not recommend it more, except, you know, if you're into this kind of funny stuff, this is a great book and uh, just go read it, it's so much fun. So I finished listening to Passenger by Alexander Bracken on Audible and it tells the story of Ada who is a violinist in present day New York and she's, you know, during her recital she's sucked back through time and she ends up in 1700s when some bad people demand that she does stuff for them and she has to look for this object and, you know, Ada is a really uh, likable character. She's proactive, she's not whiny, she's, you know... She's always doing something, which is, you know, uh, not something we usually see in uh, YA uh, female characters and, you know, she's really likable in that regard. Still, the story didn't pull me in despite all the pirates and stuff happening. Um, I don't know, there was just something that really didn't intrigue me and I really am not sure if I'm going to continue on with the series. I mean, it's only a duology, so I might uh, listen or read the second book, but I'm not sure right now. Um, I'm really disappointed because the premise is so good, even though, you know, the system of time traveling is quite intriguing and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to read about, but still there was something lacking. Uh, yeah, anyways, that uh, is the last book that I will manage to read during my first summer biannual bibliothon. I'm not too disappointed because I was busy and there was always something going on and I, you know, didn't have the time to read as much as I would like to. But, you know, there's always next time and I'm quite pleased I read three books, which is good. Uh, more than I, you know, did lately and definitely in a week. So, you know, that's great. And yeah, see you in my next video and bye.